Coming up on Hands on Apple, iOS 26 is here. So let's take a look at one of the features you're likely to see first. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Welcome back to Hands On Apple. I am Micah Sargent. And as you probably know, you can hit that update button on your iPhone now. Yes, iOS 26, iPadOS 26, plus the whole suite of 26 updates is now available to you. And I wanted to take a look at, you know, there are going to be a lot of features that we'll talk about on Hands On Apple. A lot of new stuff to, to dive into, to check out, and to fully understand. But when I thought about one of the first places that you're likely to sort of interact with the system and a place that you might want to make a change, it is in the Messages app. There have been a few updates there. And look, everybody's using their phone to send messages, right? So let's take a look at what has changed there. All right, so here we are in iOS 26, and the first thing we're going to do is launch the Messages app. From the Messages app, I'm going to tap on this message exchange that I have technically with myself. Uh, this is that Micah Twit account. And what we're going to do is look at the top of the message. You can see that it has the person's name. In many cases, it will show their face. And there's a little arrow that points to the right. Again, not the arrow in the top left corner, the back arrow, but the little arrow that points to the right that is next to the name. If we tap on that area, it brings up the information about that person. Now, this first page is the info page, and it has contact information about this person. So it's a really great way to edit your contacts without having to hop all the way into the contacts app. There is, of course, though, a shortcut that sh lets you actually hop into the contact if you want to. So show in contacts is right there. Now, from this page, you can choose to hide alerts, meaning that new messages from this person won't show up, and send red receipts. So in this case, if the person on the other end uh, is looking, they can see when I have seen a message. Now, from this page, you can also hit the edit button in the top right corner, and that lets you make some changes to this contact. So you don't actually have to hop into the contacts app for that either. Up at the top, we've got shortcuts that allow us to quickly place a call, quickly place a FaceTime call, or quickly send an email. And those will update based on the information that you have about this contact. Now, you can go ahead and try and call this phone number. It's not connected to anything at this point, so I'm not worried about showing it. And of course, this address is where we used to work uh, at the studio. So what I want to show you, though, the new thing is that now there are backgrounds for your messages. If we tap on the backgrounds option, we can see that there are some different things we can do as a background for the message. You can select a photo. So this can be any photo that you have in your photo library. You can select a color option, and Apple will pop up and show you the different color options available. There's mango, there's ice, there's plum, there's deep sea, there's green apple, there's cherry, there's bubble gum, there's tangerine, magenta, lime, silver, carbon, stone. And at any point, if you want to, you can tap in the bottom left-hand corner to change the darker color, uh, tap in the bottom right-hand corner to change the lighter color, and create your own. I'll hit X, we'll go to sky, and there are some options here. Dusk, haze, sunset, clear, sunrise, and dawn. We'll go to water. We've got light water and dark water. And then aurora. There's a green aurora, a purple aurora, and a pink aurora. Lastly, I'll tap on photo, and this lets you choose a featured photo as we have here. So we'll just go with that because it is the featured option, and it will select that. We've got some options. We can change it from natural to black and white to duotone to color wash, similar to what we have in lock screen options. And I really like that black and white. So I'm going to tap the check box, the check box, the check box uh, to have that lock in. And now if I hit back here in my conversation, I can see now that I have changed the background of this iMessage. So I can send a message just checking in once again. And you'll see that that background stays back there. 
And the new kind of look and feel of iOS 26 with the liquid glass uh, sort of adjusts itself around what you have on screen. So I can easily uh, tap and kind of see the glass peeking through with the photo that I took from Coit Tower in San Francisco. Now, another cool messages feature. Very excited to see this come to messages. It used to require a third-party app to do. But what's a common thing you need to do with a group of friends? Make a decision. Where are you going to go to eat? Where are you going to go to, uh, you know, have some, some beverages? Well, it used to be you'd send a message to say, hey, everybody, <laughs> download an app and we'll all get into a poll together. Now that's built in. If we tap the plus icon in the bottom left-hand corner to bring up the different iMessage apps and options, we can tap polls, which is again, now built in. So I can say, let's go with Applebee's. <laughs> Chili's and Outback Steakhouse. Not Outbreak, oh dear. Uh, steakhouse. Not Outbeak, Outback Steakhouse. And as I add an option, it does give me the option to then add one more. Um, Taco Bell. And it can continue to add those other choices. I'll say, where are we eating? question mark, and hit send. Then you can add choices on if you'd like, but I can make a selection. I choose chilies. As people make selections, their options will appear here and it will begin to kind of collect and show you what the choice is. I would not actually choose chilies. I would choose none of the options here. So you can make those changes as you want. And also I love that we can tap and hold and choose poll details and it shows you what different people have voted for. Now, it's a little confused here because I am on both sides of this, so it's showing that I currently have not made a vote and I have uh, also made a vote, but that is, again, because I am just texting with myself. Now, I want to take a quick look in the settings menu for messages. So we'll go to settings, we'll scroll down until we get to apps, and then we'll scroll down until we select messages. Again, you can just access that by using the search functionality in the top. And here we can set up something that I find to be very important. If we scroll down uh, to the unknown senders option, we have a new thing that says screen unknown senders. If we turn that on, what it does is it hides these notifications so you won't get a little pop-up saying, hey, you got a message from someone. But on top of that, it puts it in a special list called the unknown senders list. So if you're getting lots of messages from you know different uh, campaigns trying to get your attention, this is a great way to move those along. And then it does have the option to allow notifications for what are considered time-sensitive notifications. Now, one of these is a verification code, and I do recommend turning this on. That will allow it so that if you have not received a message from this before, but you've set up SMS uh, verification codes with an online service, this is a great way to make sure that you still get those and that they don't just kind of miss you and you're not seeing them. So I have this turned on. That's been helpful so far as I've used this feature. It keeps those good notifications coming through and available to us. If we go back to messages and we go back to this main page, now on the right-hand side, I've got in the top right-hand corner, a filter button. If we tap on the filter button, you can see we've got filtering between messages, unknown senders, what you and iOS determined as spam and then recently deleted. And you can always tap on manage filtering to go back into this filtering option. So from there, you can easily go through and see what your, you know, what, what changes you need to make. Now, a couple of other changes here, you'll see conversation backgrounds is able to be toggled on and off. If we toggle that off and we go back, then we go to our message. Now you'll see that beautiful background we set up is turned off. I'm going to turn that back on. And now you can see it again. And then the start with photos visible option uh, basically makes it so that photos that are sent will be visible. But if you want to, you can turn that feature off as well. Uh, lastly, show contact photos is something that you will be familiar with, which just lets it 
show the person's contact photo there at the top. So that hasn't changed uh, in terms of the settings, but it is a feature that you might want to have enabled for this kind of new look and feel uh, to really kind of bring home this, this new way of doing things. Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot in iOS 26 and macOS Tahoe and iPadOS 26 that we'll be covering over the coming uh, weeks. So be sure to tune in every week to Hands on Apple to stay up to date with what's new uh, as you kind of dig in yourself and begin to discover the new features. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll catch you again next week for another episode of Hands on Apple. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twit, your tech hub for intelligent, thoughtful conversations. If you want to take your experience to the next level and support what we do here at Twit, say goodbye to ads and say hello to Club Twit. With Club Twit, you unlock all our shows ad free. You also get exclusive members only content. We do a lot of great programming just for the club members. You also get behind the scenes access with our Twit Plus bonus feed and live video streams while we're recording. And don't forget the fantastic members-only Discord. It's where passionate tech fans like you and me hang out, swap ideas, and connect directly with all of our hosts. It's my favorite social network. I think you'll like it too. Club Twit. It's not just a subscription. It's how you support what we do and become part of the Twit family. Your membership directly supports the network, helping us stay independent and keep making the shows you love. If you're ready to upgrade your tech podcast experience, head to twit.tv slash club twit and join us today. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you in the club. <laughs>